Today we are gonna be testing every single Life Before 18650 on AliExpress and who will be the last to stand, which are fake and which are actually good. We are gonna start with SoShine. That's a brand you might have seen on AliExpress selling all kinds of stuff. These look very nice and they come in a very nice box. However, they are less than 90% of the advertised capacity of 1600 milliampere hours. So I don't see any reason to buy them. So they get the stick of truth. And then we have blue cells. They didn't have any name on them, came very poorly packaged. About 90 to 95% of the advised capacity of 1800, that's still kind of impressive more than most of the cells in this test, but there's no name, we cannot get a data sheet, we don't know how many amps they can handle, poor packaging, unless you want the absolute max capacity without knowing what you're putting into your product, maybe blue is for you, but I say they get a sweep of And then we have Wallan cells, they are famous for being used in the Segway, they came in a nice packaging, they tested fairly okay, but they have just 1300 milli per hour as new, and they were about 90 to 95% of advertised. They are probably original, but 1300 is not much capacity, and Wellness went bankrupt in like 10 years ago, so this is most likely old stock. So they get a stick of truth. And then they have PK cell. The first time I noticed them was from buying rechargeable NIM batteries and they were very poor in capacity. However, these 18650 cell tested about 90 to 95% of the advised capacity of 1500 milliampere hours. So those are actually okay. So PK cell did a good job. And then we have A1 through 3 clearly the winner of the test. But don't be so sure, because these are definitely fake. They look very convincing, but they're supposed to have at least 1100 milliampere hour. These were in the 800 range, with one cell testing at 100 milliampere hours. Also, I weighted all these cells. Almost all cells are 40 grams exactly. The poor capacity one was just 37 grams. So that one might actually have a small lipo living inside it. It might not even be lipo 4. So terrible, terrible, terrible fix. And then we have Hickson, which did very well on the 26650 test. Here are their 18650 equals. They are promising 1800 milliampere hours, but are delivering quite short being in the 80 to 90% range. So I don't think these are good cells, at least not if you want 1800. Then we have my favorite brand, Lishen. These are supposed to be 1700 milliampere hours, but they tested at about 80%. I don't know if they're fake, but they're not really good. And as you can see from the heat shrink tubing on the top, they're most likely re -rappled. And then we have pretty much nameless brand, cells I bought from the same seller as the Lishen ones. I just call them the light orange LFP for now, they are promising 1,500 milliampere hours, and they almost delivered. They were in the 95 to 100% range. The heat shrink tubing looks good, and yes, they are nickel on them. They are not used. They just came with nickel strips that I had to cut off before testing. So they actually pass. So which should you actually buy? Yeah, you shouldn't buy cells on AliExpress because there's a good chance they're fake, they're used, they're rewrapped or they're old stock. But if you need to, Chinese brand like PK Cell and Mr. Light Orange is actually your best bet to get any decent capacity.